Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to clinic management system today is our lecture number 6 and in today's class i'm going to demonstrate about the rolls window uh, in the previous lecture we have seen uh, the crude operations that uh, we do normally in our software but uh, we have done a unique thing that is known as the universal crude operations we have created a single code for insert for update for delete uh, and also uh, for retrieval uh, so let me uh, show you uh, the further thing that i have done uh, in the clinic management system let's start and have a look what we have today okay so that's our software okay guys so let me tell you one thing uh, yesterday i was working on this software uh, and unfortunately i have done some mistake and because of that mistake uh, the software was crashed and uh, and that was not recovering so i have recreated this software again okay so those who are following the previous lectures so be careful uh from to, from this lecture let me show you what are the changes that i have done uh in in, in this particular software uh, that i am creating for you people if you notice in the login window uh you might have noticed that there is a back button uh, up, if you are following the previous lectures you might have noticed that there is a login button uh, there is a back button on on the login screen okay so i have removed that login button first and i have done a lot of more code so let me show you uh where i have placed this back button let us go to the code solution explorer and we have the sample window and the sample 2 window okay so i have removed from the sample window that login but that back button and i have uh created that back button here okay and then i have given a code to open the home screen so i have created the home screen also let me show you the home screen that's my home screen Okay in this home screen I have inherited my sample window uh, that is my first parent and then I have uh, assigned a table layout panel here and then I have added two buttons and I have applied the image on that button simple on on this roles button I have uh, opened my roles window so let me show you my roles window also so that's my roles window why I am telling you all this because I have recreated this software again Okay so all the things are same that you have that you are following in the previous lecture so all things are remains the same the inheritance remains the same nothing is changed uh, only the back button is changed okay and now the coding uh, so let me first tell you uh, the add button edit button then save and then delete and then view okay so let's go to the sample and on this sample window i have the add button when i double click here so i have uh, created this code what is this uh, i have created a static variable edit and i have assigned edit to 0 by default when you click the add button the value of the edit variable will become 0 why i have done this so that you can uh, switch to save mode and update mode with the help of this edit variable okay and then i have resetted my controls uh, with respect to this panel so if you are following the previous lectures you might have noticed that i have written here left underscore panel so because i have recreated the software so i have removed the left underscore panel within this panel and i am only using now with this panel okay so be careful uh, uh, while doing your work also so follow your uh, naming conventions that you are using so i have removed the left underscore panel i have just left with the left panel okay and then i have assigned that left panel to my this reset enable function i hope it is clear to everyone okay and then same is the case for edit button what i have done here on edit button uh the edit button works when the value of the edit is 0 is 1 okay when the value of the edit will become 1 i will tell you later on but right now this is a global code that will uh, work on every window for edit okay so you are enabling the controls that's it you are not resetting the controls here when you are pressing the edit button so that's the two things and then i have created the click events of the save button and then the delete button and the view button and then the text change event of the search text and i have assigned this uh, virtual keyword uh, so that i can override it later on on other my child windows then i have created the roles window and inside this roles window let me go to the code and let me show you this the first thing is the load event and then the second thing uh, that you wanted to you you should have to see uh, let me close everything first okay now it's fine the now look you don't have the add button here you don't have the edit button event here because that are global and that i i can reuse that uh, again and again so now the first thing that you see here is the save button so when you press the save button that that the function is remains the same uh, from that sample 2 window and i have overrided that save button event here okay 
and after overriding what i have done here i have called my module main class and inside that module i have used that particular function check controls and i have passed my left panel and i have checked uh, whether the uh, blank controls are there or not so i have already demonstrated this check controls in the previous uh, lectures also okay i have th i have changed one more thing uh, let me uh, show you first let us go to the uh, other modules let us go to the main class module first and show you uh, uh, let me show you the main program and here in the check controls i have applied this condition allow drop why i have applied this condition to leave the controls uh, or to ignore the controls for validation okay that that's the thing that i have done in, and i have demonstrated also in the previous lectures so uh, this code is there in the text box this code is there in the combo box but this code is not there in the radio button so uh, do update your main class module here so i have applied this for radio button also and i have applied it for check box also okay so that i can ignore the check boxes and i can ignore the uh, radio buttons also if i wish to ignore them okay from validation so that's why i have done this if uh, if somebody is confusing with this allow drop let me tell you this is nothing just a logic that i have applied allow drop is nothing allow drop is is a simple property that belongs to every control of your windows forms okay i have just applied a logic that if some control is allow drop true then you do not validate that control if the allow drop is false then validate that control whether it is blank or not and change the specific color i hope it is clear to everyone now uh, after doing this i have rebuilt it my so uh, my particular module and then i'll come back to again my roles window and inside this roles window i have specified then this particular function then i have done the same code what uh, like just like in previous softwares Uh, if the edit is equal to equal to zero, so when is, when the edit is equal to equal to zero, when you press this add button, okay? When the add button is pressed, what will happen? These controls will become enabled. So when this con this add button will be clicked, the value of the edit will become zero, and this code will execute when you press the save button. The value of edit is become be uh, will is zero. So what I have done here, I have created a list box. Why I have created a list box? Because it's a requirement for my this function. the universal crude operation function that i have created here and that's my list box i have to pass the name and i have to pass the value of that name so i have passed one parameter and one value to my two separate list boxes and then what i have done here i have uh, used this crude operation module and i have called this function and i have passed my insert rule stored procedure and my and my two list that is param list and value list uh, let me close this one and let me make it like this now it's i hope it is clear to you i have demonstrated already uh, data insert update delete function in the previous lecture so i hope it is clear to everyone and then because this function is returning an integer that's why i have put this function inside if and i have checked it if the result is greater than 0 if the result is greater than 0 that means the result is inserted or updated or deleted or the data okay and then i have displayed a message that the role is added successfully and then i have resetted the controls and disabled them again with the help of this method and then i have created this roles why i have created get roles method let me show you what is inside the get roles uh, method here you you can see uh, you have created another list box and you have passed your grid view columns inside this list box and then uh, you have called this method load data and inside this load data i i'll show you this load data Uh, in a while uh, i have passed my stored procedure get roles and let me show you the get roles procedure um this is delete this is update this is get roles so my role id and role name two things are uh, coming from the database with the help of this query so i wanted to display that uh, result inside the grid view so i have passed my grid view along with my list so let me go to this function and show you what's happening inside this function so that's also inside my crude module and inside this crude module what i have done i have created the sql command one time sql uh, command type and data adapter then data table then i have filled my data table with my data adapter and then i have executed the loop so what's happening inside this loop this loop will execute as many number of times as many number of uh, data that is coming from the uh, particular uh, data table or the query let's say if you have five rows then that then the dt row will be five so this loop will execute from 0 to 4 so that becomes 5 i hope it is clear to everyone 
so how many number of rows you have how many number of times the loop will run so um, now what i have done because your data is coming your list box contains the data grid view columns you have added inside this list box your data grid view columns okay so your list box contains your data grid view columns so how can you retrieve uh, the data grid view columns from your list box let me show you uh, let's go to the crude and look what i have done inside this loop i have created a string variable and from that particular list box that i have passed on the zeroth index because when the loop will execute because when the loop is executed for the first time so the first index of that particular list item contains the first con first uh, data grid view column so i have type casted that data grid view column with the help of the data grid view column class and then because now it is converted to data grid view column so i have picked up the name of that column and stored the name of that column here inside this string variable why i have done that because i have i wanted to bind my data grid view column with my data table column so that the data will be displayed appropriately in the grid, data grid view so that's why i have done this so as many number of times the loop will run as many number of times the columns will ap appear and that columns will be data binded with the uh, database columns so in database you have two columns this is at zero index this is at first index so what will happen uh, here when the loop will run for the first time at zero the index the column will be id and at one the the column will be role so at zero the column name will be uh, uh, id gv and at one role uh, at one the column name will be the role gv so that's why i have done a dynamic work here and, and this is the one time code now throughout this software you don't need to write again to load the data grid view okay this is the one time code and then i have assigned the data source and then i have created another for each loop why i have created this loop let me show let me tell you because to give the serial numbers okay the serial number column so for that purpose uh, i have picked up all the rows from my grid view and one by one i have specified at the zeroth column that is my serial number column and i have assigned this count okay so as many number of rows you have as as many number of times the count will be plus plus and then the 1 2 3 4 will be displayed uh, inside the serial number column so that's my load data i hope it is clear to everyone now okay if you do not understand still please do ask me on comments no problem now let's save this and let's go to the roles window again and let me show you what i have done here so i have resetted it disabled it and then load roles so load roles i hope it is clear to everyone okay so this load roles is calling everywhere this particular code is for save because when the edit is zero but when you update you just only need to add the parameters again inside your list boxes and your values now where from from where this role id is coming so let me show you the cell click when you when you click the grid the added value will become one this is the place where i am creating my added to one uh, giving the value to one and then i have disabled the controls so that nobody can change directly you have to uh, do this for security reasons then uh, you have picked up your current row with the help of this code and then you have picked up your ro role id from your data grid view and then converted it to integer 32 and stored it inside the role id uh, variable and then what you have done uh, you have picked up the role name and stored it in, inside the role text so what when what when will this happen when you click the data grid view sorry yes when you click the data grid view so when the when you click the data grid view the id becomes one and you automatically fall into this particular criteria so when when you now press the save button after clicking the data grid view your data will not be saved instead the data will be updated because now the added value is 1 so that's how i had done the trick so now uh, you have passed two things because your update procedure requires two things name and id that's why i have given your name and id and respectively sequentially i have given name first so name first in the value id then id in the values i hope it is clear to everyone now um, what i have done i have again called that same method i don't have to write the update code again and again that's what the beauty of this universal crude operation code i have i have just changed the parameter that is the uh, update procedure and then the list remains the same the value remains the same uh, with different parameters and if it is greater than 0 that means the insert is uh, successfully done uh, sorry updation 
so updation successfully message will be displayed and then again reset and then uh, the roles will be loaded once again and now the delete so delete will also happen when the edit is equals to 1 and edit will only become 1 because when you click the grid and when you click the grid the role ID will be picked up and when the role ID will be picked up you have passed that ID inside your list box and the value of the role ID simple so every time you have to create two list boxes for parameters and for values and then what I have done again call the same method look I am not creating the code again and again for update for delete for insert I have just written that code once and now I am reusing for different purposes so that's how the uh, beauty of object oriented programming is and then I have displayed the message and then again reset the controls and then disabled also and then the load rules so that my list will be updated populated in the data grid view and in view button I have called simple this load rules method so that my rules will be loaded successfully I hope it is clear to everyone search I am not doing right now because we don't need so let's start and have a look uh, the crude operations that we have done with the universal uh, in a universal way okay so login roles view the data should be displayed look okay so data is coming serial numbers are also coming when you click okay when you click save uh, validations are also working okay one validation that you should apply uh, that is the text change validation so when the text box is blank it should become red on text change you can do that also so let me add another role uh, let's say compounder for my uh, clinic management system and save so compounder added successfully and because uh, uh, you have done something uh, what is the error okay no problem uh, but the data was inserted uh, I think there is a problem inside the retrieval query we'll check that uh, but uh, the data is added and you can edit the data let's say uh, let me add here s and click save doctors updated successfully and because uh, the retrieval code is not working perfectly that's why the dis data is not displayed but let me show you uh, from this particular window uh, inside the SQL server so execute so if you notice here your compounder is already added your doctors is updated okay so work the the crude operations are working the only problem is with the uh, load roles so let me go to the load roles and check what is the problem so apply a breakpoint go to your software and then click view you come inside and then what is happening yes one thing that we must see here okay the roles are passed and the grid view is passed now parameter how many number of times it will run look the exception is here now the DT is filled the count is coming three okay that's the problem uh, I know that's not the problem it basically here we should change this from data grid uh, from data table to the list box items because uh, you, this for loop is intended for data grid view columns so mistakenly I have applied this code so that's become this lb dot items dot count so this loop will run for two times now it's fine okay because you have two columns so this loop will run for two times I hope it is clear to everyone so uh, save it and rebuild your crude so that the ID that this DLL will be updated so rebuild it if that's what the problem and then start and then check whether it is working or not um, go to your uh, software and remove the breakpoint also from here and now login view roles so look it's fine so let me remove the S again uh, and then uh, doctor and then click save saved and then now it's working so that was because of that error because uh, you have to uh, apply that loop with respect to the grid view not with respect to the data table because in uh, every time the data table will be increased but the columns in the grid view will not be increasing okay so that's why uh, the problem was coming so I hope you have understood uh, the crude operations universally uh, as compared to the previous lectures that we have on YouTube uh, on my channel so hopefully uh, this is a good thing that you have learned this is a new thing that you have learned uh, apart from all other softwares uh, if you do not understand still anything please do write me thank you so much 
टेक केयर अल्लाह हाफिज़